Oh my goodness. <laughs> I didn't think they attacked you from behind like that. Okay. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to more Pokemon Coliseum. I'm Yellow Shy, and last time we uh, caught ourselves a Shadow Standler, we battled Gonzap, and uh, I am now almost dead because of I almost died of old age at the end of that battle with Standler. Uh, let's go to Fennec City so I can heal up. Go to the nice little river, lake kind of town, and we are going to get an email, I'm pretty sure. No, we're not. Okay, we just got to know what to do with that D-Disc, I guess. I, I don't know. So we did get that D-Disc from Gonzap, which is another, obviously, to, disc to operate in the under, so we're going to head down that way. Uh, da -da -da. So I don't know if you have to go to the under to activate the email message. I'm sure there's an email message that you receive. But I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I'm sure that you do get a message for, for, for maybe Pyrite Town or or the under one of those places. I'm not sure. I don't know if that's how the email system works sometimes. If you have to be in a certain place or I'm not sure. I'm sure they wait till you beat a certain event, but but I guess the whole idea is uh, what to do with this D disc. Yeah, and there's a couple things we could do. One will get us another disc actually. And uh, one will let us progress uh, with the story. So, that's really kind of neat, as you would uh, expect. I, I forgot about that whole D-Disc, where you actually get that. Yes, okay, step in the under, and you'll get a message. And you can see that it's blinking at us, and we're uh, in a little cutscene right now with the little UFO thing. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, let's open her up. Uh, Shy's email, who is this? I bit in the under. I was taking photos the other day when I saw this guy. This amazing head. So I snapped him. He was singing this weird song. Something about the Coliseum being his new place. And uh, you can see it's a picture of Mir B and he's going down. Okay. On the disc. So obviously we can use the D-disc to go and meet him. So that's what you're supposed to do. Kind of interesting stuff. Select the UFO disc, please. So we'll go way down to the D disc and uh, we'll put it in the down direction. So that's where that is going to go. So you can now pop down here and uh, you'll go in the downward direction in this kind of interesting little place. You can see there's an item here, first of all, that you're going to want to go ahead and pick up, and they are the steel teeth. So it's kind of a reminisce to the uh, game Warden in po the first games uh, that got you strength. Uh, Pokemon uh, red, blue, and yellow, or whatever. So that's kind of a nice little reminisce there for you, and a reminisce. And we're going to use the F dish now, we're going to go in the forward direction. And uh, we're going to go give that guy the steel teeth, and we will see what he gives us, because I'm pretty sure he gives you the L disc for that, which gets you to that item over there, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I don't know what that voice was, but... The thief! You found my thief! I don't know if that's what he's trying to say. And the steel teeth? Yeah, okay, you can now talk. Pokemon Pikachu picked a peck of Pokeballs. You. Early kitch. You can finally talk normally again, your savior. Thank you for kindness. And he will give you the eldest. They have another one. Okay, that's good. I don't know why should I just pickpocketed it for him. I don't know what's in that. Uh treasure chest, I'm going to call it, I guess. Item box. I actually don't know what's in there, so I'm a little curious. I'm sure it's something quite good, though, like, I mean, right? It's... <laughs> I don't know. I, I would think it's something pretty decent. Because it's been, you've been watching it there, like, every time you go on the UFO disc, for how long now? And you finally get a chance to go over there. I can't remember what it is, though. And, uh... Wow, you're, you're way oh, you go way out to the left, and uh, it is a amulet coin. Okay, that's not really all that important. We got enough money as it is. And we're just wasting our time around on these discs. We're finally going to get to go down, believe it or not. <laughs> and uh, that's going to, I'm sure, when you get down there, you get another email message or something. But anyways, you heard him say that there was a Coliseum, and you did hear me saying lots earlier that there is another Coliseum in this game. And uh, so this is where it is. Uh, by using this D-disc here, you just 
got distracted by with those steel teeth there. Um, I don't know why they don't just call them dentures. They have to make the guy look weird that he's got steel teeth. I, I don't know. But anyways, pop in here and these big massive doors just slide open. Kind of neat. And you go in here. Look at that. It's a coliseum. This guy, uh, the, the miner. Coliseum. <laughs> a minor Coliseum is built on a former quarry. It's underground in the every sense of the word. Sifter's admins are filling their fangs for you. Yes. So there um, happens to be Mir B and Ein and Venus and all those lovely dudes. Uh, Dakim is the other one, I guess, that will be here for you. Uh, waiting for you, so I don't know who I'm going to use. Guess Hammer Bro, I guess. I, I guess I could do that. So, hello, welcome to Deep Coliseum. I would like to enter a challenge and enter the party. Now, so yes, go for gold. That's what we're going to do. And just like every other Coliseum, you're going to you're gonna have to go through all the cycles to uh, to complete the, the 100%. But this is the interesting thing. You're actually going to have to... This is the only Coliseum that actually is going to make you go through all the battles. Uh, take yet because there's a shadow Pokemon at the end they're gonna make you go through it and I think it's this one actually has five cycles because you gotta fight Mir B then Dakim Venus then Ein and then you have the, the final circuit I guess if you will uh, then what is this guy's got Tropius and Nuzleaf okay uh, really not good um, I was kind of hoping for not grass types because that's not good for Quagsire um, but we will uh, still do the same same thing nonetheless. We'll use the uh, Rain Dance Surf combination. Never mind, we're not using Rain Dance. <laughs> uh, Razor Leaf, okay. That's not too bad on Raikou. Uh, honestly, this is going to be the most boring next few videos because it's going to take one video to do a cycle. I almost guarantee that. So, there's five cycles, so that's the next five videos we're going to spend here. That is awfully boring. Um, that, that is really extremely boring. That is terrible, actually. All right. If I actually think about that, that's... So we're spending five videos here. Let me break this down for you. Then after we do this, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we're done this in ten more videos. We're done this game. That, that's that's my guess. I'm just gonna throw that out there. That's it. That's what I'm gonna. I'm gonna say ten more videos. At this at this video, I don't know what part this is. Probably seventy. Probably getting really close to seventy, if not seventy. So I'm thinking we're done this at par, around part eighty. Um, but uh, so that's that's gonna be. That's not bad. That's coming up. So, you know, that's that's rather quickly. Um, so that's not, yeah, that's not bad at all, really, you think about that. So we'll, we'll be, it's not like this is going to take much longer. This is just kind of a stretchy part, but that, that's kind of mandatory, which is kind of unfortunate. But uh, Razor Wind, okay, that's why you didn't attack last turn. I wasn't really watching. That didn't do anything at all, okay. Oh, it's it attacked both, that's why. Okay, yes, that makes sense. Razor Leaf, you are still faster than Quagsire when you were paralyzed. Well done, Quagsire! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what? Wow, okay, yeah, okay, that's interesting. I was wondering what time it was. I didn't realize I've been recording for this long. There's a rain now, but I'm not going to be able to use Flamethrower. Ah. Oh, well, that's no big deal. I'll probably still use it, um... on um, Nuzleaf. It'll be super effective, but it'll get halved by the uh, by the rain dance, so it'll just be like a normal flamethrower. Uh, Tropius is down, good stuff. Good, 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 good. And the Zangoose, okay. Yeah, this is taking a while. I've already spent like, I bet you five minutes on this battle. They're going to be long, long videos. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm sure you're just, you're just excited to hear me say that there's going to be five videos of this in a row. 
but, th but this is the worst part. It's not like the Yonder Coliseum or all the other ones I did where that were optional. These are mandatory in order to progress with the post game, so that makes it even worse, I guess. And I think it was Zangoose's last book or did he have another one? I can't remember. I hope not. But I want to say he did. Doesn't look like it, though. Because he's centered by in front of the person. That would usually make it seem like he only has one left. Yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, good stuff. That's that's it. I guess he only had three. I thought he had four. I thought he had... Yeah, just Tropius and his leaf in that. Okay, I thought, he, I thought it said he had four at the start, but I, I guess not. Um... I did spend some time earlier, though, so this would probably be longer than all the other ones. Okay, we got a second trader here. And uh, you're gutsy to come this deep underground. Okay, I guess so. I don't... It's not like the cave's gonna collapse or anything like that. It's a video game, it's not gonna happen. Uh, okay. Tyran Tyran no, that's a Typhlosion, even though it looks like a Tyranitar and kinda sounds like Tyranitar, but it's Typhlosion, and that works well because the Rain Dance Surf will help here. If it doesn't somehow kill somebody before it uses it, but um, Rain Dance, okay. Well I assume Typhlosion will go before Quake Sire. We'll use Earthquake! No! 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 Okay, it did kill. Okay, that's fine. Beach stupid. Looking at those sound waves again on Odyssey, and it's like, what? Just when I'm going, no! 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 Makes some pretty interesting sound waves. Okay, Vigoros almost down. He'll go down next turn unless he does something silly to Raikou, which would be bad. So on Raikou to kill Typhlosion. Oh, it's going first! What do you know? Oh, I just went first because you used a Duru, that's right. That would be it. That would be the reason, that would be the reason. 1300 experience, that's not bad. Haruyama. And Slash. Goodbye, Riku. 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 Yeah. I'm being such stupoid right now. Such stupoid, yeah. Such a stupoid, as I always am, but... Um, I don't know, what am I using Surf here? I'm not even sure. I think I'm just gonna go all out here and use Earthquake this next turn. Well, no, I, it's not much point. This is gonna get rid of Vigoroth. Uh, da da da. Anyways, that's two battles down. This one didn't take as long. Three or four minutes. That's good. Really hate when these things stretch out, you know. Ugh. Just makes my this my I might I might use earthquake and you know, brick break will do just as much. Don't have to use don't have to use earthquake all the time. It sounds powerful, but brick break realistically with the same type of attack bonus does the same amount of damage. Foresight. Sorry, none of these Pokemon are ghost types. I never understood what Foresight did for the longest time. But... Okay, I get it makes sense, because it seems like every fighting type Pokemon learns Foresight, so... I guess that makes sense, because they would want to be able to attack ghost types or whatever. I'd, I'd... But yeah, it took me forever. The only, well, actually, when I figured I was playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and I, it would say, if it didn't work, it's like there aren't any ghost type Pokemon, or, you know, Standler isn't a ghost type, or whatever. It would say, and I was like, why would it matter that it's a ghost type? And then I found out, you know, that was the only way to technically have something super effective against Sableye is to use that and use like a fighting or bug type attack. And. You get here by UFO or something? I dug my way down here, okay. I, I'm not sure I'd be proud of that. Like, oh, well, I'm a. You know, I dug. I dig. That's, that's what I do, I dig. I, it seems weird. He makes it sound like he did it by hand. I'm, I'm sure he did it with an excavator. I don't think that's even possible with an excavator to come down this far. You know. But who said everything was realistic in this game, or in video games to begin with? Um, so yeah, this whole, this battle's not looking like it'll last that long either. So that's okay, I guess. That's good. 
You don't really want them to last forever. And uh, hand duel. That's not not a lot of damage at all. Be more nervous if it was a hound doom, I think. Uh, what I'm more worried about is the actual battles with the Cipher admins. They might take a little longer because they might be a bit more powerful. That's the only thing I'm sort of worried about. But we'll look at Hammer Bro 61. A mist. I don't think so. And Haze! Well, actually, Haze isn't bad. But I don't know that I want to get rid of anything. I not really. I don't really care about Hayes. It's, it's a nice move, but it's interesting. We learn two different moves at the same level. Uh, but oh well, that's kind of. I guess they kind of go hand in hand, right? Mist and Hayes. Hayes is supposed to get rid of the mist or whatever. I, I, I don't know. Um, well, you surf here. Yeah, this battle not taking long. Well, this this combo works quite well as long as you don't have like grass type Pokemon. That's really like that first battle. That's the worst possible way thing you could throw out at me. At the Spryku Hammerbro combination. And a Dodrio, okay. There's my favorite Pokemon, if you didn't know. Dodrio. I use that thing a ton in Pokemon Call. Or no, Pokemon, Pokemon Stadium, the rental Pokemon. That was by far the best rental Pokemon. Because then you try attack and fly. And I think a new substitute as well in, in some of the. Some of the uh, some of the modes or whatever, some of the cups, anyways. But so that's how it became my favorite Pokemon. If you're if you're curious to know, and I better take some more drink. I don't feel any saliva in my mouth. There, that ba that battle didn't take long at all. You're tired from all your digging. Oh, man. Yeah, I know those backhoes are tiring to operate, aren't they? <laughs> I've only ever... I've, I've, I've sat in the seat once, but I've, I've never actually operated a backhoe before. But here we go, Mir B himself. Yep. <laughs> No, no final music this time from the, uh, whatever you call it, but anyways, uh, look all these looty colos, my goodness, and I am going to be smart here, they're going to be using Giga Drain on camera, bro, I know that, I am just going to go right after things and use Thunder, so I am positive, absolutely positive that they will use Rain Dance, oh no, they're using X Defend, X Defend, okay. Well, next turn, they will, and hopefully Thunder doesn't miss. Ah! Just had to say that. Ugh, yes, yes, the, the good old music's back. I guess you could call it good old music. I, I don't know. That's not doing a lot of damage at all. Um, surf, I'm sure these things use Rain Dance, because they have, like, a Rain Dish and all that good stuff. I don't know, they might... Oh, see, I, why did I switch out Hammer, bro? I thought they would use something other grass type moves. Look at that. That was a waste of the thunder. Like, right there. Right off the hot. And, uh... Da -da -da -da. Am I lazy? I'm not sure. Am I going to go to Espion? I'll go to Altaria. That, that sounds like an idea. Use Fly on these things. I actually like Mirror B's battle music in the uh, in XT Gale of Darkness. I, I like it a lot better. Uh, I'm glad they didn't use this, is what I'm with like maybe what my point is. Um, and they're not using Rain Dance, are they? Like they did in the, when we fought him in Railgun Tower. And look at that, I didn't say a she. Not bad, eh? I'm actually calling me should be a man. I, it's I, it's kind of a man, I guy. I don't know. And oh, they both use rain. That's a really nice idea. <laughs> I don't know which one. I'm assuming my attack just don't go on top. I uh, hear those hydro pumps now. Oh dear. Yeah, so these they do they do make this tough on you. I'm sure, the other one has rain dish. That's why I didn't attack. That one has Swift Swim. 
they both kind of, you know, benefit from the rain, I guess you could say. But yeah, this is not an easy battle. It's kind of worried because it's going to take a while. Leech Seed. Oh, who are you using that on? Raikou. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind that at all. Um, is there any point even using Raikou still? Guess I could go for it and try to use another another Thunder. It's use Ice Beam. That's probably an Altaria. No. Okay, that's really a stupid thing to do then. And uh, let's go to Espeon. I don't know what else she She won't have a bunch of Ludicoles. I don't know what the heck he'll have. And I did say she again. It's a really awkward habit, kind of. Yes, I really shouldn't be saying that, but... Um, I don't know. She wouldn't have more Ludicole, I would think. She had some other things last time we fought her. Like, she had a gold duck and... I think a Lutrid or something. Rain dish. Okay, that, I'm worried now that that fly won't kill it again. I'm just gonna use Psychic. And, oh my goodness, look at these things. They're so redundant. And, ugh. <laughs> Makes them hard to knock down, actually, is what it is. Well, we'll let fly knock down the next thing here. I just don't really have much that, you know, if I had like a, this kind of fly is kind of an annoying kind of move to have to use, but. Now, I, hopefully we got rid of the one with Swift Swim. Okay, a critical hit, that's nice. I was kind of hoping that rain would stop, too, but. Uh, another Hydro Pump, okay. Who are you attacking? Oh, you're going to attack Espeon. My goodness, Espeon didn't even last that long. We're gonna have to go to Umbreon now. Or hit him on top. I guess I might go to hit him on top too. That's probably what I'll do. I get rid of Explode a little bit faster that way. Oh boy, what do we have? My goodness, this video is taking rather a long time. Uh, fly up high and Shadow Ball. Okay, interesting choice of attacks. I'm pretty sure Explode looks like the type that would have more of a physical attack. Oh, of course, yeah, you gotta break this battle even more, don't you? Yeah. Okay, Brick Break, and, uh... I think the rain stops, so I think Ludicolo will use rain. No, it won't! Okay, that's lovely. I like the critical hit, that's not for good measure, because I don't think it would have killed it regardless, so... And Altar is 63, that's good as well. Another Ludi Cole, oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, she will have the pseudo she he will have the pseudo Udo if you haven't caught it yet. So that's the whole idea behind having you be here again. And actually she will she <laughs> he will stay down here. So you can keep doing this Coliseum loop if you still haven't caught it yet. Same with the three legendary dogs. Uh, Armaldo that replaces that's the replacement for uh, Sudowoodo. And we'll use Earthquake. That should do a good amount of... Oh, well, yeah, I guess it's not super effective against Armaldo, but still, that's not a bad amount of damage. And it's not very effective on Ludicolo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ludy, 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 Ludy. Yeah, I don't know. What I'm even talking about now, okay. Rock slide, that's not a big deal. Wanna hit. Uh wobbles. Oh my goodness. This is taking a, a very, very long time. Hydro pump. Getting sick of seeing that move. Oh no. You know, I could potentially lose this fight, but I I don't <laughs> I think I'm in good situation. I think I'm fine now. But, I mean... It's not like it's not close, like... Oh, okay, well, there we go. That killed it. That's good. That helps out rather a lot. Uh, rock slide. And, uh, yeah, well... Umbreon will 
take about nine, 19 of those before it actually kills it, so. Ah, oh, yes, this music is really irritating. I might shut it off off my head. That's a good idea. Um, I'll at least turn it down anyway, yeah. Okay, let's use Dragon Breath. So that stupid rain is out. I can't use Flamethrower, but I will. My goodness. <sighs> yeah. Getting this is definitely my last bit of I've been recording for a long time. Like a very long time. Da -da 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 -dum -dum. Okay. Um, da -da -da -da. There we go, last turn, thank goodness. Here we go, here we go! Down goes our Maldo! And there goes the battle! Yeah. Well, I guess we'll have to see what the TM we get is, too. Be pretty distressed if we didn't get the TM. Oh, no, 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 my tempo is off again. This won't do at all. And as we come back, well, that's nice. We get to reunite with our little ginger. Congratulations, you're the champion. You battled fabulously. Please take, accept your cash prize of 20,000 and a TM-12. I don't know what TM-12 is, but we're going to get a message that we'll read to. I want to see what TM-12 is first. That would be taunt. What a useless TM for all of that work. We taunt! Congratulations. The Deep King. Okay, this is Nat. I heard you've gone to the Deep Coliseum. I heard a rumor about it. There's supposed to be a seriously tough trainer who goes by the name of the Deep King. I wonder what Pokemon he uses. And he'll actually use a Shadow Pokemon. That's. But yeah, like I said, we're gonna have to go like through this four more times to actually catch that one Shadow Pokemon. It's just genius's genius sonority's way of stretching out this post game. My goodness. Anyways, let's save up and call this a video. Look at that. 44 Shadow Pokemon now. We still got that Deli Bird to catch as well. So we're, we're just about there. Um, yeah, like I said, maybe about 10 more videos or so, and that'll be it. So anyways, this is Yellow Shy saying goodbye next time, Pokemon Coliseum. Back right into it at the Deep Coliseum, okay? See you guys later.